the channel, y'all. Can you guess where I'm at? Look around, look around. Yep, you guessed it. I'm back in Florida, baby. And as you can see, I'm wearing a t-shirt. It is 75 degrees here. I'm so glad to be back because when I left Arkansas, it was 14 degrees. I had not planned on coming back to Florida. Apparently, I just can't get away from this place. And I'm really excited about today's episode. We are at Lake Kissimmee State Park today. I've never been here before, and we're doing something a little bit different today. Normally on the channel, you see me kind of roughing it on my through hikes. We do a lot of tech camping. Sometimes we're a little bit more bougie camping in the van, but I just finished my two very long nine hour days driving through some ice, getting caught in some crazy traffic, and then the very next day I went to work and worked 11 hours. Yesterday I was on meetings all day, so I am just exhausted, and I really just wanted a super chill weekend. I rented something called Pioneer Tent, something that the park offers. It's kind of like a little glamping situation, and I don't do these things too often, but every now and then I do enjoy getting like a cool Airbnb or doing kind of more like a glamping type situation. And I think it's really cool that the state park has built this into the system because this is a cool way to get people who maybe aren't as keen on roughing it in or maybe hesitant about spending a night in the outdoors. Things like this can help get those people out in nature. Let me show you guys my little place. Look how cute. So you do have to kind of hike in to get here. I'm parked in the parking lot and there's like kind of just a walking path here. That's the restroom facility, so it's really close. I have this very private little area. This is my little pioneer cabin. Picnic table, fire pit, and just like, look at all this forest. Just, I'm like out here. So let me show you guys inside real quick. So here's the outside. You have a nice little covered porch area. And this is the inside. They have a little Keurig there. Give you some coffees. There's towels for the shower. Mr. and Mrs. Hayes. Ha! It's just Miss Hayes, thank you. This is awesome. The cabin did come with a cart. I'm gonna go back to my car and load up and bring things over. Just got all settled into my little home for the night. I do have an e-bike that I'm going to try out for the first time today and this is actually a really good park to do it because it seems like this is a pretty big park. It was three miles from the entrance point to the campground. So all right, let's enjoy ourselves on this beautiful 70 degree January day in Florida. Let's go for a ride. everywhere here. This is cow camp. Every Saturday they do a living exhibit and they try to like set it up as if it were in the 1800s. Cow hunters used to come, I guess the area that they used to be. And they have like a little exhibit back here. They're not doing it today, but we're gonna walk back there and check it out. I could not have asked for any better weather today. The whole nother world down here in Florida. Look at those beautiful oak trees with the Spanish moss. There's so many back here. Look at that. Imagine now that you're stepping into the past. The year is 1876. 
is cute. Oh, that's cool. It's like an old Tommy little hut where the cattle ranchers used to sleep. So another thing you can do at this park is rent kayaks. And there's like a really nice little canal that you can kayak that connects to lakes. This is a really nice little park. It's very quiet. Of course, I am here on a Monday, so like there is just nobody here. I'm walking up the 35 foot observation tower. I love it when the state parks have these observation towers because Florida's really flat, so this is the only overarching view that you're gonna get. Just look how beautiful that is. I'm back at my little tent. I think I'm gonna start getting dinner ready. Tonight, I'm making enchiladas in my cast iron Dutch oven over the fire. And if you guys watched my last episode, I tried to cook a pizza in that thing and I wasn't able to get it hot enough, but you guys gave me some really good tips and pointers that I will share. Somebody recommended also supplementing the wood fire coals with some charcoal coals so i'm going to get the fire started so we can get some coals and we can make sure that we get these enchiladas cooked i have a little visitor at camp hey buddy oh my gosh i just want to pick him up see you on my door like literally he's right next to me Look how cute he is. Alright y'all, like I said, I'm going to make enchiladas tonight. I am being lazy and using canned enchilada sauce. Normally I'd make my own, but Siete actually has a pretty good enchilada sauce. So that's what that looks like. And I'm also using their taco seasoning that I'll use to season my ground beef with. First thing that I'm going to do, cook our ground beef. Next, I'm going to add in the taco seasoning. All right, while I'm letting that meat brown, I'm going to cut up some vegetables that we'll have inside of our enchiladas. Ground beef is done. Finish cutting up the bell peppers, onions, and garlic. And then I will saute these in the Dutch oven. And then when that's done, I'll assemble the enchiladas and we'll be ready to cook. I'm also putting beans in this, but I forgot the can opener, so. Haha, <laughs> got it.
I'm also going to season the beans and vegetables with a few different things. So a six chili powder, cayenne pepper for some spice, some cumin, a little bit of Lowry's seasoned salt. And then while those are cooking, I'm going to go ahead and get my coal fired up because I think I'm definitely going to need these. And this bag, it's an easy light bag, so all you have to do is light the bag and the coals catch on fire. We're cooking. Veggies are getting there. Shredding my cheese. Got this really good raw sharp cheddar cheese at the health food store today. Alright, to put the enchiladas together, some flour tortillas, mix it up the veggies, the beans, and the meat. I'm gonna mix it all up together. This smells so good. And just take it, put it on the tortilla. Sprinkle a little bit of cheese inside and roll it up. In the Dutch oven, I'm gonna pour some enchilada sauce just to cover the bottom. I have my enchilada rolled up. I'm just gonna set it inside. This will be my meal prep for the week. I'll pour the rest of the enchilada sauce on top of them. Put the rest of the cheese on there. I think they're ready to go on the fire. All that smoke in my eyes. Well, I got the coals on it. How long do y'all think? It's 5.18 now. I'll probably check it in like 15 minutes or so. Oh, hopefully they cook. Stay tuned to find out. Look how awesome this campsite is. It's so quiet. It's been about 15 minutes. I'm gonna check it. Oh, that's hot, ow. That looks so good. Bro, oh my gosh, this looks so good. Ow, that's hot. Dude. I'm gonna serve myself some enchiladas. I'm hungry. Oh my gosh, my armadillo for in this pack. He wants some enchiladas. He's coming straight for them. Dude, go away. Psst. Get out. Get out of here. Get. I said get. You're cute and I wanted you to hang out earlier, but you didn't want to. Now you don't only want me because I have food. Get out. Get. Now go on, get. He's right here. What am I going to do with him? Hey, I'm going to pop you. Really? It's just uh, me, my enchiladas, and this armadillo. Dutch oven enchiladas. Let's go. This is Frederick. He deserved a name because he's eating dinner with me. So let's try the enchiladas. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Mmm. So good. Mmm. So, so good. Hey, get out of there. Get out of my trash! Frederick! No, Frederick, you can't do that. That Don Frederick's causing ruckus over here. I'd like to take a minute to thank the sponsor of today's video, 
OM system. You may have noticed that some of the shots in my videos look a little bit better than the others, and that's because I've integrated the OM5 camera into my vlogging gear. Tonight, once it got dark, I went on a little adventure on my e-bike with my OM5 camera into the park to get some night sky shots. One of the settings that I played around with tonight was the Starry AF setting. I set my camera to manual mode and then went to the super control panel and clicked on the AF mode button to turn on Starry AF. The screen will then show you that Starry AF is running while the camera begins to focus on capturing the stars. The pictures that you can get with this setting are absolutely insane and I'm excited to take more night shots on future adventures. Some of my favorite features of this camera that have proved very useful are the fact that it's water resistant and really just an all weather camera. I've taken this out when it's raining. It really is made for the outdoors. This is what the camera looks like. So I have the 1245 lens on right now. I love how there is a place to mount my mic. It's just really lightweight and easy to hold. We obviously do a lot of hiking on this channel so it's really easy to take this camera with me on a hike. I normally just wear it around my neck like this or just hold the camera. It fits in your hand so nicely. There are so many different modes and customizations that you can make on this camera. The opportunities really are endless. The OM5 mirrorless camera. The majority of today's video is shot with the OM5 camera. Definitely check it out. I have a link in my description and also sign up for the OM5 email journey. This course will help inspire your photography journey with tips and an inside look through the eye of other nature focused photographers. You can sign up by clicking the link in my description and scrolling to the bottom of the page. Following your sign up, you will also receive an exclusive offer on the OM5 camera. Good morning, y'all. Look at this. <laughs> I got bit by a mosquito in my sleep last night and he went to town. It's a really beautiful morning, beautiful quiet morning here. I think I'm gonna take us on a little hike. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, that's nice, Mike. Oh, that's yeah. a hairy bike, yeah. Yeah, this is a place to be until April. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so then we head yep, then we gotta go back. <laughs> well, nice Enjoy. to meet y'all. Thank you. I thought I was gonna hike that trail, but I just figured out that you can bike it, and I really wanna use my new e bike, so that's what we're gonna do.
Okay, that got really deep. And now my feet are completely soaked like up to here. The bike did really well in it, but you know, there's like a motor right here. So I figure, I don't know if it's, anyway, I turned around. I think I'm gonna head back. Win some you lose some. All right, y'all, that's gonna do it for this week's adventure. Thank you so much for coming along with me. Excited for some more Florida winter adventures. I'll see you guys on the next one. Love y'all, bye. Thank you.